To keep your employees safe from the many electrical hazards present, it is crucial to reduce the risk when possible. One way to reduce risk is through enclosure design. Today we will talk about simple ways you can improve the safety of your employees or customers through enclosure design, following hierarchy of risk controls and prevention through design to align with OSHA and NFPA 70E requirements. A basic electrical enclosure is an engineering control method that protects your equipment and employees by putting a barrier around electrical components, isolating them to reduce risk of accidental contact to employees. Since troubleshooting and maintenance are required, the enclosure needs to be open to access electrical components. This reintroduces the electrical hazards. A disconnect enclosure adds a level of safety by allowing the operator to turn the power off at the enclosure and allows the operator to follow lockout tagout directly on the piece of equipment they are working on. When the disconnect is switched off, the load side power hazard is removed, but the line side hazard is still present. Disconnect enclosures with multiple doors can be mechanically or electronically interlocked to ensure doors cannot be opened until power is turned off. With a disconnect enclosure, the hazard of accidental contact with load side components has been reduced, but the risk of line side accidental contact is still a hazard. To reduce the risk of this hazard, an internal disconnect shield can be used to provide a type 1 barrier around the disconnect, shielding the line side power. An internal disconnect shield reduces the risk of accidental contact with the line side of the disconnect, but the risk is still present inside the enclosure. To reduce the line side risk, the best way is to remove the disconnect from the main enclosure. Sequester isolates the breaker in an external enclosure that mechanically interlocks with the main enclosures. This completely eliminates the risk of accidental contact with power when the disconnect is switched off. To reduce risk during common tasks, High voltage, medium voltage, and low voltage can be isolated to reduce the level of PPE required. A barrier panel can be installed between enclosure bays to isolate voltages. Swing out panels can be used to isolate HMI, switches, and push buttons in front of high voltage components, but still out of reach of unqualified persons. Hoffman has specific enclosures designed to simplify voltage separation during design. One of the easiest ways to protect your employees is to limit the times they need to open the enclosure. This can be done easily with simple accessories. Windows allow your employees to inspect components. Data ports allow your employees to program and troubleshoot. External data pockets keep schematics and instruction manuals on the machine. Each of these eliminates the need to open the enclosure door. When the enclosure door does need to be opened, keep it open with a door stop to prevent it from swinging closed on technicians. You can reach maximum protection by reducing risks following the hierarchy of risk controls and using the proper equipment to meet OSHA and NFPA 70E requirements. Envent Hoffman strives to be the leader in electrical safety, and we are excited to work with you to bring these solutions to market. For more information, contact your local Envent Hoffman representative or visit us at hoffman.envent.com.